In the summer of 2004, two men were kidnapped and held hostage for nearly three weeks. Police investigators found a macabre and horrific crime scene, a basement dungeon where the two men were tortured. They discovered 28 cameras on the premises that the assailants used to record the events. Further investigations revealed numerous recordings that documented the actions of the two serial criminals, unveiling their dark legacy. What you are about to watch is the story told by those cameras, combined with archival and newsreel footage. My name's Theodore. I've been on death row for eight years. I am a murderer. I thrive because the media wants me to. I exist because you need me to. I am natural selection, industrial Darwinism. I prey on the weak to ensure the survival of the species. It's my place in nature. In part, this is my story, but in truth, it's your story. Your dreams, your fears, your nightmares. I'm just the boogeyman. Can you tell us anything else? I told you everything, didn't I? No, I, I, to I told you everything. Uh, uh, I mean, did something happen I, I don't know about? I mean, did something happen I don't, I don't remember? You tell me. Oh, it's, it's all a blur. I was drugged and beaten. Last Monday, police made a terrifying discovery, finding the remnants of a horrific basement dungeon, a torture chamber, where two men were held captive for nearly three weeks. Gacy, Bundy, Dahmer, these guys shouldn't be swept under the rug. They shouldn't be cast aside and criticized. They should be respected and admired and honored for the things they've done, for the things they've brought to society and taught us about ourselves. Serial killers are an anomaly. They have normal jobs and lead normal lives for long periods of time. Investigators found 28 surveillance cameras positioned on the premises. But just know that this didn't happen because of you. This didn't start with you. Yeah, well, that's fine, but still not too comforting. Either way, there's a tape I want you to watch. This is a few years old. Mr. Martin's been videotaping his life for a while now. You may have even seen this before. Omnitech. That's the Omnitech tape. That's right. Martin formerly went by the name of Nathan Rothschild. He was the CEO for a large software company named Omnitech. Yeah, I remember. This is the day he pretty much departed from common society. I can't wait. Effort. Very impressive. Well, I, I, I'm glad that I made you happy. <laughs> you do fine work here. But how are things at home? Mm, sir? Well, you know, with your family. How's your wife? <laughs> She's doing fine, sir. Wonderful. What's more important than family? <laughs> um. Well, I... Nothing, sir. That's right, my boy. Nothing. Perfect answer. Well done. You know, you never ask about me. It really hurts my feelings. All you want to talk about is this. Business! And what's it all worth at the end of the day? All these numbers and long boring stupid words? Nothing compared to the value of love. And you can't put a price on that, can you? 
I, I, I should get back to my desk. We, we've got that accounting glitch and we go! I've been with this firm for 13 years this November. I'm sitting right here in this very desk. Counting the minutes in each day, the days in each week. Wait for it all to end. When the job is over, when the day is over, then what is there left? Left for me to love. Yourself, sir. You, you, you have 13 years of dedication to be proud of. If at the end of the day you have have nobody else or, or, or nothing else to love, then, then, then fuck them all. Love yourself. But I do have someone else to love. You do. You're such a beautiful boy. Okay, let, let's stop right there. I... Hey, do you realize what I've sacrificed to be right here, right now? You're crossing the line, sir. But I started the hormone treatment. <laughs> Enough! I'll be a woman for you. I'm leaving. You love me too. Look at me. It's your favorite color, right? Green. I told the tattoo designer that the man I'm changing for must have a green. He must. I, I don't know who you're talking about, but, but this isn't right. Embrace me. <laughs> Where are you going? Let me out of here! Let me clean you up. Let Mr. Martin clean you up. Somebody help me! Set every asshole in this office on fire. <laughs> My boss. I don't even like you. Help me. Help! Move away from the door! I'm uh, I'm unlocking it! Oh, I saw everything. You went crazy. My love, I did this all for you. All for you. That was the beginning. Over the last eight years, he has been recording every aspect of his transformation. There were over 28 cameras positioned in the house you were held hostage in. What was he doing? Was he making a movie or something? Not something. He was making a movie. Most of what you're going to see was already pieced together by Martin. Is it all on there? It's all here. The way they stopped you kidnapped you, tortured you. Everything that happened is here. What about Frankie? Your friend? It's here too. Everything. Some of this is pretty hard to watch. I need to see it. Everything. You're about to watch the story told by those cameras. They are usually acting out some kind of fantasy. It's usually violent and extremely predatory in nature. We will forewarn you, this is one of the most disturbing displays of human violence and savagery you will ever experience.
Sound is on. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Oh, my friends are such freaks. You guys are freaks, you know that? It's just a joke, Owen! They smashed up my hands and feet! I'm bleeding bad! Who are they? I don't know. What do they want? I don't know. Frankie. Frankie. Frankie! Come on, man, don't pass out of me. I need you awake. Okay, take off his blindfold, I don't care how late the stripper is, this is gonna stop right now. Frankie? You still there, man? Someone else here. He's made a mess of you too, hasn't he? Who are you? Patience, sweet Elvin. Patience.
Come on, wakey wakey. How's it taste? Like fucking strawberries. How's your face feel? Please take off the blindfold. I gave you a shot so it killed the pain. I can't feel my head or face. What kind of, what kind of a shot did you give me? Morphine with a little bit of heroin. I don't understand what's happening to me. It's not for you to understand. What do you mean it's not for me to understand? So what are you squatting these days? Squatting? At the fucking gym. <laughs> Go to my gym. Last time I saw you, you were barely pushing 115. You been watching me? Don't get me wrong, Elvin. I was stoked and shit. I was like, God damn. Elvin's taking it to a new level. Kind of like the space shuttle in Mach 15. Going BAMO! Straight through the fucking sky. Look, pal. Can you please untie me? You're in no uh, position to give orders. Uh, I'm leaving. Please don't leave. Get the fuck back here! Someone here? I'm, I'm tired. I'm thirsty. I can't take this anymore! <laughs> Frankie? Frankie, man, are you alive? Oh, they're gonna kill us, Elvin. I think I know one of these guys. He, uh, he's been watching us at the gym. One of them's a woman. She's kind of butch. <laughs> Do you think you know her? Uh, I don't know. I don't see so good. Frankie? They're gonna kill us, man. Okay, just hang They're in there, bud. Kill us. Just hang in there. Frankie? Frankie? Frankie!
every fucking time. <laughs> I know you bastards are watching me. <laughs> he still doesn't know where he is. He doesn't know who the fuck he is. Good, good. Because he's going to become someone else. A better man. Just as I did. Just as you did. Let's watch the other video with the wife and the kid. Oh, they're not married. That's his fiance. Let's watch the one where we kidnap him. He hasn't been kidnapped. He's been rescued. Next, he'll be liberated. Are we gonna kill him? You know, I haven't decided yet. But either way, he'll enjoy and appreciate his fairy tale life. You know, I don't think this guy has ever been afraid of anything. Never had a nightmare. Never known fear. But tonight, he'll know. Tomorrow, he'll suffer. And he will be afraid. Let's start the introductions. Are you on here? Jamie, have you seen Alvin? Hey, Samantha. No, I haven't seen them either. Yeah, I don't know. I've been trying to reach Alvin on his cell phone all afternoon. Well, you know, yeah, they both came in last night, and Frankie slept on the couch, and I saw Alvin come in, and then woke up this morning, and they're both gone. Yeah, I don't know. I figured they went to go get a cup of coffee or went to the gym or something. But I don't know. Now it's getting to be 2 o'clock, and I haven't seen them yet. I'm kind of worried. Yeah, all right, well, why don't you keep trying Frankie on the cell, and I'll just keep trying to call Alvin, and I don't know, I'll give you a call if I hear anything. Okay, okay, you too. Bye-bye. Elvin, you just told me your fiance's name. What if I didn't know her name yet, huh? But you do. I know you do. Where is she? Maybe she's Maybe here. She's here. She's here. She's here. She's Maybe she's there. there. She's there. She's there. Elvin doesn't care. 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 My associate has made quite a mess of you two. He gets that way when he hasn't had his heroin yet. <laughs> I like you, Alvin. And I like your fiance, Julia, too. I care about you as family. I want you to be happy. That's why I float here. I want you to be the best you can be, Father. So you're not gonna kill me? Death as I see it is not the end of a lifespan, but the beginning of it. Got it, got it. You're the philosophical killer, right? The guy who reads Nietzsche? Study metaphysics at Oxford or wherever the hell you want. If I'm the philosophical killer, then you must be the smart mouth victim, witty enough to get himself out of this situation. No. I'm just too beaten and tired to sugarcoat my thoughts. I fear a schizo like you doesn't care what I have to say. Do you always talk to your captors this way? Well, I've never been a captive before. You've been a captive your entire life. You're gonna give me a Freudian twist on things? Nah. Freud's too mainstream for you. You're more of a what? Skinner, John Watson kind of guy? Yeah. Yeah, you're definitely John Watson. You like to teach fear. No. I am a fan of each, but not a practitioner. No to Waters, no to Watson, Skinner, or Freud. The names I study are equally familiar. The graduates of a different school. Wow, cliche. I need a doctor. I'm gonna bleed to death. You're not gonna bleed to death, Frankie. Not yet. 
Wash my hands. But we still have ankles, kneecaps, fingers, teeth, ears, and eyes. And we'll be removing them all soon enough. I know you, don't I? Of course you do, you idiot. What, do you think I'm a stranger? This isn't as random as you think. You were selected. Yeah, I know you. But not from the gym, though. From, uh, from somewhere else, right? In time, it'll come. But right now, I need you to cooperate and listen to me. Or else I'll have my associate come back in. Frankie, I'm going to take various parts of your body from you. Various parts? You're a sick little puppy, you know that? Oh! Let's make a new rule. Every time Elvin offends, Frankie hurts. Oh my god. However, the penis will have to go. I'm not sure about the testicles yet. I won't need my balls without my dick. Well, that's for you to figure out later. What's that smell? Oh, Frankie. I'm so disappointed. You had an accident. Oh. My associate will take care of this. You know, Ferrigno, I like to call him Louie. Sheer mass. Then there's Arnold. Completely cut. You know what I mean? I don't really know what you're talking about. No, I suppose not. Whoa, whoa, Jesus Christ, what are you doing? I'm just throwing him a shot. He had one too many accidents. What? I've never sewn nothing like this before. I know you, don't I? Of course, Elvin. Right. From the gym. I haven't seen you in a while. You, you look different. I've been laying low. We worked out together a few times, right? Lifted some weights. Remember? I'd spot you, you'd spot me. Yeah. Oh, checking out the ladies. That hot little blonde, 80s throwback with the leg warmers. Looking like Olivia Newton-John on the treadmill getting physical. Hey, you know, I, I know that girl, the blonde. The, her name's actually Olivia, believe it or not. I, I know her. <laughs> 1030 crutch class, yeah. tight little ass. Every time you walk by, she check your shit out. <laughs> Shut up, go suck a dick. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man! Don't try to be my buddy. Recognize me. Look, I know you're not gonna let us go. I'm just, I'm just trying to make conversation. That's all. I swear. I'll, I'll talk to her for you. I'm not your bro, your buddy, or your fucking pal. Even if you could hook me up with her, I wouldn't let you go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Don't pretend to be my buddy, or they'll be next. Okay. Anyways, this fuck right here, he's been balling her for months. He should talk to her. But it doesn't matter. I have her in the room next door. You what? Hit her with a brick. Shove a screwdriver up her pussy. Jesus Christ, you didn't. No. Man, she's got a kid. Now please don't. Shut up. Please, please stop! Shut up, I have to get this done. Oh God, man. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with you? Stop! Come on, please stop! Come on, stop, please! Shut up! Stop! Come on, please! <laughs> Fucking stop! <laughs> Jesus Christ, stop! Unbelievable. I just, I just need a break right now. No, it's okay. I don't know how much more of this I can take. There's more. A 
a lot more. Too much. Are you ready? Where does this come from? How, how insane do you have to be to take this shit off? I don't know. Ask Ted Bundy, ask Jeffrey Dahmer, I, I just don't know. They're dead. And they all should be. Again, we must remind you of the graphic nature of this video. Often, they are visionaries, missionaries, or hedonists. Sometimes a combination of all three. Visionaries believe that they have been told to do something. Missionaries believe that they're cleansing society. And hedonists kill, well, Hedonists kill simply because they enjoy it. What do you think he wanted from you? Love? Power? Really? It's hard to say. Maybe he just wanted my approval. The majority of serial murderers are men. And most of them have a history of having been abused sexually and physically when they were small children. I studied these guys, they were the greatest. I wanted to be just like them, I learned from them. I copied and mimicked them for the first few years, then after a while I developed my own style, my own type of work. This is the uncut footage recovered from the crime scene. These are not reenactments. Are you all right? Would you like some water? It's strange. You didn't really seem that scared. Of course I was scared. You seem to show contempt for your captors much of the time. I do have contempt for them. And right now, I have contempt for your fucking questions! I'm sorry if my fear and terror doesn't quite meet your standards. That's not what I meant. Look, I was terrified. Most of the time, I was so drugged and dazed and, and exhausted that this whole thing felt like a bad dream. All I could do was either hope that I'd wake up or die. Something, something smells rise, rise, rise. Is that Franklin's foot? Frank 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 take off, 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 Scare you? <laughs> You're going to be a star. He's too clean. Fuck. That's better. Look, I've got six or seven thousand dollars in my savings, and I've got some retirement. My retirement's around or near fifty. It'll take me a few days, but I can get most of it. We don't need no. your money. No, please, not that. <laughs> Well, isn't this what this is all about? Some fucking sick sexual perversion? Rape is a crime of violence. You're not violent men. Oh, you have me fool. What happened to Frankie was not violence. It was penance. Frankie is paying for the man he is. And so I made you pay too. For the man you are, or were. That's it, isn't it? I was wrong about you being the philosophical killer. You're the transsexual psychopath. You are a cliche. 
And this is sexual in the most violent way. You sick son of a bitch. Oh. It's okay. Oh. Calvin is scared and he still doesn't understand. Oh. So he's lashing out. He hasn't been broken the way Franklin has. We haven't even begun to start hurting you. Oh. And we're not going to rape you. We're going to re-educate you. Do you know how easy it would be to kill you right now? To slit your throat from ear to ear. Oh. I can squeeze a little bit harder and suck at you. Oh. I've done it before and I can do it again. That's what you said. Oh. We ain't oh. rape. Oh. <sighs> No, you're, you're upstanding citizens. Change the boy. Next time I'll kill you. <laughs> what do you want with me? We told you. Re-education. Yeah, what did I do? Why me? Why me? You're a sheep. You're a shit conformist who bought into the fraud. They control you with magazines. They control you with commercials. And they have you believing that your vote counts and your voice is heard. None of it fucking matters. You're a sucker. A lemming. All right, it, it's all lies. Yeah, gotcha. It's all lies. Do you really believe that? Yes, yes, yes. You're not gonna lie to me too early. No, no, it, it's all bullshit. The, the people who print the papers, the politicians, the rich guys, they don't, they don't care about us. They print bullshit and lies. Yes, it's not true. I, 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 do you Yes, I mean that! Ugh. He's teachable. If you're willing, we can teach you. Ugh. It will be painful. But there's a reward. Yes, there's a reward. That looks really nice. Yeah, thanks, baby. You teach her that? Shouldn't she be uh, mowing the lawn or trimming the hedges? You know, playing with sharp objects? Frankie and Samantha just called. Oh, yeah? They said that Frankie's going out tonight with the guys. Yeah. I think you should go. Yeah, well, you know, the bachelor party's tomorrow night, so. Go, relax, have fun. Uh, yeah, you know, the thing is, every time Frankie and I get together, trouble seems to happen. Is there going to be a stripper at the bachelor party? Now, I told Frankie absolutely no stripper. So, uh, of course there's going to be one. No touching. I wouldn't be getting married if I wanted to touch a stripper. Good. You re-educate them. Your family. We teach you. You teach them. You fight us. And we teach them. You understand? Not barbarians. What about Frankie? Your salvation is in life, Elvin. Frankie's is in death. Oh, God, please. Oh, please don't. It. No, there's no reason. You got it? I got it. I know this is not exactly what you're looking for, but it's where we must start. We begin with the baptism. Uh. The baptism is complete. <laughs> The next time you see blood, oh. it'll be your own.
Elvin. Elv, you awake? Yeah, Frankie. <laughs> Jesus, man, are you okay? No, not even close. <laughs> you gotta get us out of here, man. I, I'm trying. Oh, my hands and feet are crushed. My skull's fractured open. I lost a lot of blood. I can't see out my left eye and everything out my right eye is a blur. I'm dying, man. Do you recognize any of them? No. I can't see anyone too good. You think they really have a living? I don't know. I don't know, man. All I know is they got <laughs> us. And I, I don't even know how long you've been here for. How'd they get us? I don't remember a thing. <laughs> well, you were pretty drunk that night. All I remember is that uh, we went out, got drunk. You came back to my place, you crashed on the couch. And I just went straight to sleep. That's all I remember. Hey, Elf. Yeah, man. I'm sorry if I ruined your bachelor party. <laughs> no, you didn't ruin anything. You didn't, you didn't ruin anything. I'm so sorry. So tell me, Elvin, what was the most liberating moment of your life? The day I escaped from this fuckhole. Well, that hasn't happened. Yet. Get the axe. Seriously, Elvin. Liberation. The day I received my first paycheck. It allowed me to move out of the house and start living life on my own. Start really doing things for myself as an independent person. Do I sense some issues with your parents? No, not at all. My parents just raised me to be responsible, so I got a job, moved out. I think you're lying. Lying? <laughs> Look in the mirror! You're the cross-dressing freak fest! <laughs> Who the fuck molested you? Huh? Uncle Bob? Your dad? No, wait. I know exactly what it is. Your mom was the crack corner whore, right? And she fucked your dad for the next fix. You stop that. I can't. I'm tired. I'm thirsty. I'm delirious. Just, just let us go. I can't. That's right. Not re-education. No, Elvin. Your re-education. Franklin is beyond salvation. You're wrong. You're the one who can't be saved! You're the one on the freaky side that fucked up! Just wait. You just wait and see what happens to Franklin now. Succumb, or you'll join him. Succumb to what, Nathan? Or is it Natalie now? So you remember it? Yeah. Yeah, I finally did. You know, I didn't work at Omnitech all that long. I never really saw you much. But I do remember this on the news. How'd it go again? Oh yeah. CEO Nathan Rothschild caught in sex scandal with top executive. Fuck, man. You made a mockery of gay men everywhere. You seriously embarrassed a billion dollar corporation. I go by Mr. Martin now. Oh, that's great. That's even better. You know, I never liked the name Rothschild. Always made you sound more blue blood than I really thought you were. When I was your boss at Omnitech, I was going through a major transition, and you were instrumental in my improvement. What are you talking? You never even acknowledged me. I didn't even know you. I mean, besides that, I was pretty low on the totem pole as a tech writer. But you were my first true love. I had pinned, perhaps unfairly, my new 
new beginning in life. But I thought we would share together. That wasn't me. I prepared for years to reveal myself to you. And when I did, you turned me down. You hated me. I didn't hate you. I didn't even know you. It, it, it was one of the managers. It was, uh... Uh, uh, Simmons or... No. No, it was Timmons. Yeah, his name was Neil Timmons. And I saw the videotape. You have to admit, the way you revealed yourself was somewhat abrupt. But I loved you. No. You loved someone else. And besides, you made estimations about who that guy was. I mean, did you think because you revealed yourself to Neil that he would suddenly give up his life for you? I'm sure Neil misinterpreted the signs. Okay, I mean, he probably thought you were trying to attack or rape on me. Look, I'm sorry you got fired. I really am, and I'm, I'm sorry you, you felt hurt. You took my love and beat me with it. The media mocked me. I was fired. I was harassed. And random people on the streets attacked me. All because of you. <laughs> that wasn't me. That was someone else. I'm telling you, I never attacked you, okay? And the repercussions were not my fault. You were my son. Wait, you so it shut too? No, but your sarcasm grows tiring. Okay. Everything you took from me, I'm gonna take back from you. I changed my body for you, and you're gonna change yours for me. No, please don't. And... No, 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 please no. God, no, 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 how do you know we haven't already, Elvin? Do you have any idea how long you've been here? It's only been a few days. Maybe a little bit longer, but it's only been a few days. How do you know it hasn't been weeks or months? You're tired, you're weak, you're hungry, you're thirsty. How do you know anything? It's only been a few days. So you say. How do you know they're even looking for you any longer? They are looking. Maybe not for me, but for Timmons. And you. It was on the news when he disappeared. You were one of questioning. And I remember even saying I used to work with those guys. And that sick fuck Rothschild ruined the company. I quit because of the stain he, you, left behind. They may be looking for Mr. Rothschild, but they're not looking for Mr. Mark. If you think of the first person to change your name or your appearance, whatever happened to him? <laughs> Me. No. No, please don't. Please don't. Don't. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Where are you? 
I'm a friend. Stay away from me. What do you know about Alvin? More than you know, and it's worse than you think. Don't you come near me. Don't you dare come near me. Feist, you guys see why Alvin likes you? You've been here before. And Alvin disappeared. He laid in our bed. I was dreaming, but I wasn't. You. That wasn't me. I was here when you were dreaming. <laughs> not gonna happen. God's not here. What do you want? Put the scissors down. No! Okay. Last chance. No! I have a gun! Hey, the scissors are down. You said you were gonna hurt me. You had your chance! <laughs> Put this down. Put it down. This is it. Mr. Martin, you look wonderful. What do you mean by that? Beautiful. Lost my breath. What about my lipstick? You have a smudge right here, Mr. Martin. There. Did it the fiddle. Then we're ready. Let's go. Let's prepare him. Sleep for days. Come here, hold the camera.
Let's take him home. It's important to understand the education of those who have come before you. These were people who couldn't be re-educated. But I have high hopes for you, Elvin. In time, I think you'll learn. With a little love and a lot of pain. Frankie, uh, I think I can break free from this. Do it. What if they're watching? Oh. Okay. You gotta get out of here, man. Come on, Elvin. <coughs> Go. You don't do it now, I'm dead. You're dead. Come on. Come on, Elvin. Come on, Elvin. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Hey. 
ultimately, it's almost always about power and control. I've been on death row now for eight years. I've received over 6,000 marriage proposals. People love me. Nobody wants me dead. Society doesn't want me to die in here. You need me to feel safe. You need me to feel secure, warm with your family in your home. And if by some chance I do get executed or another prisoner beats me to death with a broomstick in here, someone else will take my place. Someone else will be sitting right here to make you feel secure, to make you feel better about yourselves. Nobody questions what you did when you escaped. It was a justifiable homicide, self-defense. Good, can I go now? Not yet. We know what happened later. We know what you did when you returned to the house. Justifiable, right? Is that what you really think? Absolutely. Don't you? I wouldn't have done those things. Three weeks ago, I would have said the same thing. Trust me. You watch the tapes. You know what those fucks did to us. I also saw what you did. Call it an experiment. Call it revenge. But I wanted him to know what it felt like. Elvin, Elvin, you Elvin, found, you found, you found, you found. You found. Oh, oh, oh.
see uh, cause I wanna say something and uh, it goes a little something like this. I got some way for you, baby. So get down on your knees, yeah. And I'll shoot you down. Thank you. 